Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for this occasion. In this video, I will give you a guideline about the application of system information of lecture, especially in the Department of Informatic Engineering. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Eko Setiu Yarko. I'm from TE 2G class. And before that, I want to apologize about uh, if I have any mistakes in my izin Malva izin. And I want to say thank you, especially to Mr. Rosa that have been teach us until this final project. So, before we go to the guideline of how to make this application, I want to tell about you the main things before we run the application. So, this application is needed some observer that run in the system operation that is called XMPP because the code editor is a server that we need the SAMPP that we can download in the Apache Friends.org you can download here of the installer of the application if we have been downloaded before we can install and then there are any two files in here that I have been upload this is uh, the main application of website is use code editor as a framework so in this RAR of file is must to extract into the htdocs of the xmpp so we copy it copy this uh, this file into the c c drive into the then to the xmpp folder next into the docs and then we extract in here because I have extract before so we next into the next step after have been extract this application so uh, after that we make the database of the application is use the SMPP control panel we run the application and start of the module of the app page and my SQL and then after that we access the localhost of php my admins if we have been uh, access this we can import the database of the application in here using the import using the import we in, as we know as in here we can use file we use file this docentku.sql and then we send this sql file and then the system will automatically make the database of docentku in my laptop has been installed the database of docentku 
so if uh, this step have been do so next is we access the website using the local host so in this step is we just need a uh, access the application in a local host and then slash 15 dot code igniter slash code kedua slash dosenku and then we'll show like this it will be show the main page of the login because this website use the authentication so if you want to access the system you must log in and then if you have logged in you can access the main of system and using the system of the application so in this time i will give you access of the admin this username is using admin and the password is also using admin if after that you can log in so after we can log in page we can access the main index of this application and then the main index of this application is will show the list of lecture as you can see in here I make this application of interface is clearly so the user can cannot confuse maybe a little bit uh, friendly user and have to cozy looking first in this main index we can edit the data we can the we can see the data we can add the new data also i have been separate all the table of the database into the each of the this navigation bar i have been divide the database into the application so the first thing is uh, i want to explain how to using the create update and delete in this application how it works in this button just click if we want to edit to add new data there will be so the form of add new data of lecture there are form of we must fill before and then for example i want to input this using for example my name lah example my name and i add new quota of teaching is 10 this is 10 and 0 and then after we fill all the submission we can click submit and then if we the data is successful to adding so the system will show the pop-up of data of lecture that has been input before is success we set that data input as you can see in here I've been input this before if we want to update this data we can edit you can use the edit of form the lecture for example I want to add a new want to change into this MKU 
KU and then 20 and then edit and then the data lecture is a full edit this is the data that have been edited before and then the data that have been edited before is appear in here so for next is for example if we want to uh, delete uh, the data that we have been input before is just click the delete in here and the system will make sure if you want to delete you can click ok and the uh, data that we want to delete is deleted if data successful deleted and the show system will appear in here pop up of successful to delete the data so in this application in this navbar I also make uh, for another table for example like dpa home base the position matakulia I also make in each of the the row of data to clearly to can edit create or delete in each data so next is uh, contract perkulihan in this in the section of the contract perkulihan as you can see in here I have been added before some of uh, mata kuliah that have been separated into prodi and level in this section of contract perkuliahan is also same like before the docent we can edit we can delete we can adding a new data and I give the the more button for the download the file of the contract perlihan and also we can upload the file of contract perlihan in here for the download we only click the download for this section for miss for example I want to download DBO we can click download and the file will appear here download and next is for example is algebra linear I will click download and the uh, and the uh, file will appear here we click download automatically in here will show the contract of perkuliahan so if how if we add new data is also simple too we add the new data in here and then we select the the form of adding a new contract perkuliahan there are new the drop down of the level we can select the level of for example for and the the major the e or me and then we close the file for example i want to add the rps rte cd kb baru and then i submit if i submit also successful the file will save into the asset of the framework in the hcdoc 
of the code editor the file will save into there so that have been adding before we set the data that have been input it will be appear in here that have been input before we can create and then will appear here and then next into SAP and RPS is also like a contrapurian they have a download button in here the tile edit and delete if you want to access the RPS of or SAP, you can download in here. If you can, if you do not, will appear in the download of file. If how if we want to add new SAP and RPS, we can click the data button in here will show the form of adding new data SAP and RPS for example I want to add a new of the the SAP for example I want to add a uh, file some like before we submit and then the data will add to database as you can see in here and then we go to the export file of the export file in here I separate the database that we want to export for example this all table all table is mean that we want to export all the table of in this database of application include the daftar dosen, dpa, home base, position, mata kuliah, research, and then SAP and order we can select the all table and then there is a two of format file we can see in here if we want to excel file we can select the excel file and if you want to csv file and we can select the csv file we export and then will appear here the download of excel file of table docent group for example we want to home base home base we want to csv file and then db home base csv dot csv will Download and also, for example, the mata kuliah in Excel export also will appear the download of the file of that table that we want to export. I also do same for the import if we want to import. The, we can select the data that we want to import or table that we want to import and then we import the data so 
uh, I think enough for this application I'm sorry if my explanation is maybe so not good enough I apologize if I have a mistake so thank you for your attention Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh